Sean Martin. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. We start with that fire that quickly spread through dry grass in the hills of East San Jose. Chopper 5 was over the scene where at one point it was threatening homes. KPIX 5's Le Ramirez is, is near Silicon Valley Boulevard in the Basking Ridge neighborhood where investigators have a good idea of how this fire started. Len? Yeah, and a lot of that has to do with what neighbors reported seeing and hearing uh, right before this fire started. They told us that they heard a very loud boom, and then they saw a flash of light, and it was coming from the area of those high-powered lines behind the neighborhood. Within seconds, the fire was racing toward the homes. Strong and steady winds push flames along this dry, grassy ridge in the hills just above the Basking Ridge neighborhood. The smoke could be seen for miles as it advanced toward homes. Crews formed into strike teams to battle the blaze on the ground while helicopters doused the flames from above and air tankers bombarded the edges to stop the fire from spreading. And there is this huge boom. There was also a flash of light that happened with it. Beth Ellis lives near where the fire started and says the fire was out of control in seconds. Because it's hot and dry and the wind is blowing, the flames, I walked up as soon as it happened and just whoosh, down the hill. The neighborhood was not evacuated, but nervous neighbors kept a close watch on the firefight. Some made plans just in case. And then pack up and go. <laughs> I don't know where we'd go, but just out of here. You know, we're in a drought. Everything's dry. It's a wake-up call. Once the fire was brought under control, investigators and PG&E crews focused their attention on a high-powered transmission tower. Two gold-colored metallic balloons were still stuck on the lines. On its website, PG&E urges customers to secure metallic balloons, which can cause energized lines to spark and cause power outages. When it sparks, it's big. And, and the boom, like, I don't even know how to explain how big the boom was. Now, we checked with the uh, San Jose Fire Department. They still don't have an official cause for it, but as we saw from the video, PG&E crews and the fire department were focusing their attention on those Mylar balloons, which during this time of year, you can imagine graduation parties and things like that, uh, b balloons getting loose. So PG&E is urging people, if they do have those balloons, to make sure that they're weighted so that uh, the balloons, if they get out of hand, won't go flying and possibly not into power lines.